بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ وچ از ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک کریٹ اے کامن ڈیٹ ٹیبل وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن ڈیزائن اینڈ امپلیمنٹ ایٹ ڈیٹا ماڈل سو ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا سپر اسٹور ایگزامپل وی ویر ایبل ٹو کریٹ دا transactions table or the transactions fact table inside the power query editor and now we are going to have a look at the dates table so i remember i i mentioned in the last video that for every data model that has some kind of a date as any column in any of the tables especially the fact table then you need to have a dedicated date table or a calendar table so we are going to create this date table here and this topic although is from the second learning path but as it is related to the data modeling and it is already related to the the example we are doing so i have uh, covered this topic here so now let's go and see how we can create a calendar or a date table so if you are working in power bi environment there are multiple ways to to build a common date table or a date dimension so the first option is that you bring in the date table from your source data so especially if you are working with databases or you are connecting to a data warehouse then there is a dedicated date table that has been designed in the data warehouse so it is always recommended that if you are going to build a data model then bring in the date table from the source data The second option is to make the date table using the power query editor and this is the option that we are going to explore here that we are going to use the power query editor to create a date table. The third option is that you can create a date table using the DAX language as well. So once we are going to cover DAX we are going to uh, discuss this part in more detail. but remember that this is the least preferred option so either you should bring in the date uh, date table from the source or you should create the date table inside the power query environment so like i have already explained that the source databases and data warehouses already have their own date tables so they have a date table that identify identifies the company holidays then the calendar and fiscal year and also the weekends and weekdays so all of that this is covered in the source data so it is always recommended to bring in the source data table in the data model the second preferred method is to create a common date table in power query so we have already seen this in the maven market example that where we created a calendar table where we just had the single column having unique dates and we used that single column to create other columns like start of week month number month name day of the weeks and so on and so forth but here in this particular video we are going to use a commonly available date script that has already been shared and we are going to run that date script which is in the form of m language and we are going to run that script and we are going to create a date table the beauty of this script is that it allows you to give any starting and ending date and it creates the date table according to the starting and end date the third option is like i said is through the dax language so we are going to explore this once we are covering the dax videos and we are going to have a look at these functions that how these can be used to create a date but like i said this is the least preferred option now let's go to the power query editor and see how we can create the date table so i am inside the sharepoint repository that has been shared with you and we have been using this throughout so inside the sharepoint repository there is the folder clean transform and load the data and if i go inside this folder you are going to see a text file so there is this text file which says calendar table version august so this has already been downloaded uh, as part of the Um, as part of the clean transform and load the data example that we did but if you have not downloaded it then just download this text file and we are now going to use this text file to create the date table 
So I have opened the calendar table version August 2022 text file and here you can see that this is the M script. We do not need to understand this script because we just need to see how it works. So what we need to do here is that we need to select everything inside this script. So I'm going to press control A and then I'm going to press control C so that everything inside this text file is copied. And after copying that script, I have come back in the Power Query Editor and I'm going to click here on New Source. So I'll come here and click on New Source and here is an option which says Blank Query. So I'm going to select Blank Query and it is going to open up a blank query as shown here, Query 1. And then you need to go and click on Advanced Editor. You need to go in the query area and click on Advanced Editor, which is going to take you to another video, to another window. So here, all I need to do is that I need to select everything which is there in this file. So there are just four lines here. And after selecting all of this, I will just paste the, the M script that I copied. So I've just pressed Control V here, and you can see that the original script in the in this area has been replaced by the the by the m script that i copied from that file and and i can see that there are no errors which have been detected as i can see here so if you have come to this point then everything you have done well and all you need to do is that you need to just go and click on done here so now you can see that that script has been uh, has been executed and now i see this area where I have two parameters as shown here and I have just explained it a few minutes before, uh, ago that I can now create a calendar and this is the parameters, two parameters which say start date and end date. So I can pass any date in the calendar that I want and it is going to create a date table which starts from the start date and ends on the end date. So in order to know which should be the start date and which should be the end date, I need to go into my transactions table and I am going to look at these two columns, order date and the ship date. So I know there are two dates in my data. One is order date and the other is the ship date. So I need to make sure that all the dates which are captured in order date or the ship date these are captured so i will i should not miss out on any date value in the order date or the ship date column so in order to look at the at those dates i need to actually perform a few things so i am first going to go and select the order date column then i am going to select column profiling based on entire data set and then i am going to click on this drop down value here so here it says you can do the sorting as per the ascending order or the descending order. So first I am going to select the ascending order. So it is now going to show me the first date in my data, which is 1st January 2015. So I'm going to note this date down. Then I am going to again click here and then I'm going to go and click on sort descending. So now it is going to show me the last date in this order date, which is 28th December 2018. So I know that the first date is 1st January 2015 and the last date is 28th December 2018. So now I just need to uncheck or delete this step that I performed. And now I need to go and perform the same step in the ship date column. So first I'm going to click here and see the ascending date. So uh, the ascending order date is the same which was there in the order date. And now I'm going to perform the sort descending. And here I see that this date is 14th January 2019. So I can clearly see that I need to create a calendar that at least captures all the dates from 1st January 2015 to this date, which is 14th January 2019. I can have more dates that is not a problem, but at least these dates should be captured. So now I'm going to just uncheck the sorted rows. And now I'm going to go to my query, the query that was created for the calendar. And now I'm going to give the start date here. So you can use this area to, to select the start date. So I'm going to use 1st January 2015 as my start date. So here I'm going to select 1st January 2015 as my start date. And for the end date, I can 
गिव आई नो दैट आई नीड टू हैव एट लीस्ट फोर्टीन जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन बट आई एम गोइंग टू गो एंड गिव मोर डेट मोर डेट्स एड मोर डेट्स हेयर सो द डेट आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट हेयर इज गोइंग टू बी फर्स्ट फेबररी टू थाउजेंड ऑफ नाइनटीन सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट फर्स्ट फेबररी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन सो नाउ आई हैव बीन एबल टू प्रोवाइड द टू मैंडेटरी फील्ड स्टार्ट डेट एंड एंड डेट देन देर आर टू ऑप्शनल फील्ड हेयर टू और थ्री ऑप्शनल फील्ड हेयर तो सो द फर्स्ट वन इट्स इज रिलेटेड टू द स्टार्ट ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर सो इन मोस्ट कंट्रीज द फाइनेंशियल ईयर इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट मंथ इट इज नॉट स्टार्टिंग लाइक द द द नॉर्मल मंथ वी हैव विच इज जनवरी सो इट कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जुलाई और इट कैन इवन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अप्रैल सो इफ यू हैव सच अ रिक्वायरमेंट देन यू कैन एड द मंथ नंबर सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव हेयर सेवन बिकॉज आई नो दैट इन इन माई कंट्री इट द द फर्स्ट डे फॉर द फर्स्ट मंथ ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर इज जुलाई सो आई हैव एंटर्ड हेयर सेवन एंड दिस इज अनदर ऑप्शनल कॉलम विच सेज दैट यू कैन गिव द uh starting number of the weekday so i don't really care about this column nor i care about the holidays column so i just need to come here and then i need to press on this invoke button here in a few seconds you will see that a new query has been created in this area and this query is represented by invoked function so in the invoked function this is nothing but a calendar table and there are a lot of other columns that have been created we are going to see what are the benefits of these columns once we are going to explore the reporting and we are going to do some dax development but all i need to do is that i just need to change the name of this table so i am going to rename it as dates and i am going to drag this table in the data model area and the query which was used i am just going to drag it here in the other queries area so i have just the five tables inside my data model now and now the data modeling step is complete so i have in this video try to cover the 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 process that how you can create a date table we have already seen this in the previous example where we were doing the maven market data but this is a more dynamic or a more flexible way of creating a date table so that's all for this video and i will catch you in the next one